uh, start covering the most important tape reading tactics you will ever have and you should know because that's what trading is all about and you know you could and one thing you'll learn from a lot of the presenters here everyone is we're very similar you know in trading we're very similar on you know how we trade together and you know what the best thing part of it all and i preach this all the time J just like john was mentioning it's you know our jobs to teach you not how to make money it's to teach you how to stop losing it that's really what it comes down to it. I mean, if you're doing, listen, if you're healthy, you're in great shape and, you know, you don't got to go to the doctor and, and be on any medication. You know what? You know, it's when you're sick and you have issues. Well, guess what? A lot of people come to us at the worst times and we don't want that to happen. Now you see what's happening in the market. We had a great rally today, and now where are we down? 170 points. We were down, we just broke uh, 27,000. Uh, we thought we had a little bit of a rally coming back, but listen, I tell everybody, it's not there yet, and that's what the goal is. So let's get started, and uh, let me get what we're gonna get into what we're gonna be learning. Uh, basically, I'm gonna explain a little bit about time and sales, and hold on a second, let me do something here so you guys can kind of, you know, enjoy some of the, there we go. There we go. Hopefully everybody can see the webcam. Okay. Just want to put the webcam up. It's always nice to kind of see who you're talking to and preaching to. Good, good, good. Thanks a lot, Bonnie. So basically we're going to talk a lot about finding the patterns uh, in tape reading. I'm going to talk about how market makers, which are trading firms, how they use level three, level four, the ECN book, which is basically called uh, basically NASDAQ total view. And why indicators are lagging and really not that very necessary, you know, when it comes to an act to be an active trader. So that's where that comes about. Now, let me just tell you a little bit about where I learned. And just like how John told you, um, I, before we were all very successful traders, we we're all successful losers. And I think why we got into the education business uh, is because we don't want people, we hate seeing people lose money. You know, when we do a conference with all my partners, educators, it's one of the biggest things we, we hate talking about. We hate talking about people losing money and it's a lot has to do about just ignorance, uh, people being cheap and so on. And you know what? I know, I know the people that are here today are not those people. Okay. Uh, I know you're here, you're here to learn and you're willing to spend a little money because let me tell you something, you don't want anything for free. Okay. This is to this, this event, is more or less a interview. That's really it is. Listen, we can teach you how to make money in an hour. We could just make you drool, get your interest, and let you know and say, you know what? That's the guy I want to listen to. So I've been there. I've done that. And not only have I done that, I've become a very successful trader. I mean, I've been a 12-time world champion at the at the at the at the World uh, Money Show, uh, Traders Expos. I've been to. I beat every. I went to China. I went to. France, I went to Canada, all over US. I've been around all over the place. Um, and the big thing that I've learned is that what makes one trader better, not that I beat the other traders, uh, you know, because I'm saying I won. A lot of them really weren't day traders. You know, I'm an actual day trader. And what that basically means is I get in and out of the same day. So it's really kind of hard to get a, a uh, an analyst, uh, a swing trader to kind of go compete against me because by the time all this stuff kicks in, it's usually too late. But let me just tell you this. The reason how I became a very good trader is because I wanted to spend more time with my family. That's really what came down to it. Uh, I tell this all the time about my parents. My parents are immigrants from Italy. My father told me, he says, listen, try to find a job, son, that can make you spend more time with your family. You could travel with them and do it everywhere you can. Actually, I just came back. Today's the first day I'm back. I actually took my kids on Disney World. I, I, I went on a Disney cruise for a week. And you know what? It was great. You know what? I had to have to worry about any open positions. I had to worry about you know business, anything. It was awesome. It was great. No stress, no nothing. Now, now I'm back and I'm ready to, to, to do it. And the first thing that came to my mind is like, holy crap, the market's getting killed. I'm like, you know how many people wish they sold their positions? It's not worth it. But that's the reason why we trade. We trade to have a better life, okay? And, that, and we want to be able to do things we want to do. Now, have any of you guys saw me on, uh, on NASDAQ's uh, new station TV show? Anybody here watch me on NASDAQ's TV show? I'm actually going to be on in two weeks. I'm there every th uh, two to three weeks. John, you have, Lance, you have, Kevin, yes. Okay, good. Now, um, 
basically, if you watch me on the, on the news station on NASDAQ, I talked about total view. So I'm really going to kind of cover a lot about it. It's amazing that you might not hear a lot about it. And that's the first thing people always tell me, like, you know what? Why do people really talk about it as much? Well, the reason why they don't talk about it is because they're really not traders. That's really why. But I'm going to tell you the importance of it and how it works and how it's going to tweak your trading. Now, let me just, um, just, let me just be very frank with everybody here. All right. I am looking for people that I, I could teach to trade that I want to trade with. People always ask, if you're such a great trader, Fausto, why do you teach? Well, the reason why I teach is because I am doing this as a business, not to charge people for the courses, but to actually train you so I could trade with you and make a lot of money with you. That's what it's all about. You see, if I could teach you the secret sauce, you're going to be my chefs, okay? And, and all, if we all make great food, guess what? We all make a lot of money together. That is how you're supposed to trade. Not by just having someone, hey, here's 800 hours of videos, take a couple of quizzes, and uh, you know, thank you very much, and let the door kick you, you know, in the butt on the way out. You know, that's not what we do here at Cybertree University. Uh, we really care about your success. We want to succeed with you, but you got to make sure this is for you. So if you're here looking for free stuff, guys, you're in the wrong room. I'm just telling you right now. If you're looking for a free Rolex watch, a new car, a new iPod, uh, phone, whatever it is, listen, go buy it on your own. It's, so, it's, more, always, it's always more appreciative to say, you know, I went out there and I bought a new Rolex today. They're like, well, how did you do that? Oh, great. We bought a stock today, one of the coronavirus stocks. Why not go do it? That's what it's all about. So that's what I'm about to show you. So let's, let's get right to the point. Why are you here? You're here for one reason and one reason only. You're here to find someone that's going to teach you a, a how to succeed in today's market. In other words, you're here to make money. That's really what it comes down to it. And I love bringing that up because you know what? There's these great movies you want to watch. There's these, you know, uh, great platforms out there, whatever it may be, great car, but at the end of the day, you're here to make money, okay? It's not about being starstruck. It's not about, you know, all that other stuff. Yeah, we, we, you know, we just want to be able to go out there and, and profit from today's markets. So now, Mike, I have a question for all of you here, okay? And I want to do a quick poll question, if you guys don't mind. And uh, my poll question is this, what kind of trader is everybody? Are you a stock trader? Options trader, futures, forex. Can we just fill this uh, little questionnaire? It's popping up on your screen. Want to know what kind of trader everybody is? All right, uh, Kevin, just put it in the. Uh, you'll see in the poll. All right, so give you about another five seconds. By the way, there's there's a lot of you here, guys. Don't be shy. Julie, I didn't hear from you. Sam, did you guys fill it out? Bonnie, I, I think you did. Car Carlin, Dan, Julie, guys, fill it out. Don't be embarrassed. It's always, well, this is how you learn. If you don't talk, you're not going to learn how to trade. I'm just being very honest with you. Uh, when, I, when I took a job as a trader, the first thing that my mentors looked at is whoever didn't raise their hand, they got a pink slip at the end of the day. So the thing is this. We're a team, and to be a good trader, you got to surround yourself with good traders. How do you know you got good traders? Because they talk, they trade, and they connect. So let me uh, go out there and share. So it looks like we got a, a lot of stock traders. Now, regarding about options, can I be honest with you about options? If you want to be a good options trader, you have to learn how to trade the stock first. Remember, it's the movement of the stock that makes an option move. So how do you know what the option's doing if you don't even know what the stock's doing? And regarding my futures and Forex, I'm not a futures and Forex guy, but you know what? You should, I know how to trade them if I had to. And guess what? That's perfect. Uh, we all trade basically the same, which is a different market. All right. So uh, let me change the slide here. So let's begin, guys. Now, the Dow Jones in the past two days took a two- thousand point hit and as of right now we're down about another hundred okay though we had a little bounce back but we had one hell of a roller coaster i'm just looking over here on the tv what the market's doing and we were up almost 400 points we just dropped off 500 points that is a huge uh drop now the question is this disasters unfortunately make opportunities okay and that's what we're looking at we're looking at opportunities now, some of us, by the way, why is the market down? 
Can anybody, can anybody give me a chat back and let me know? What is your reason why the stock is down? If you can't answer this question, I really recommend you quit trading. All right. This is your this is your bread and butter. It's the coronavirus. Okay. Really that at the end of the day, it's the coronavirus. If if you if, if somebody comes out here and tells me it's the um it's regarding, you know, the, the debates last night, or it's the president, or uh, you know, uh they're raising tax, just quit. Just quit trading. It's the coronavirus. That's really what the catastrophe is. All right. So the thing is this, how do you make money on that? Well, the, apparently it's not about shorting the market. Some of us are trading stocks that are going long. Okay. So you got to have a game plan. You got to know wh what stocks to trade, where to look for them and who's buying them. That's really what comes down to it. Now, the thing is this, you have to know how to play the game. Trading is just a game. That's it just like X's and O's in football, all right? And you just gotta know how to do that. So how do we know how to do that? We have to follow the money. That's what it comes down to it. By the way, did you guys see the stock MRNA? Did anybody see this stock right here, MRNA? Oh my God, I gotta bring something up here. Nobody, nobody traded it. Nobody saw MRNA. How about this one right here? This one was today. CODX. Anybody see CODX? Anybody trade CODX today? One person, Bonnie traded it. Stock went from $4, okay, at 9.30 this morning. It's trading at 9. Can I ask you a dumb question? When was the last time somebody ever brought you a stock that went from $4 all the way up to nine dollars. Has that ever happened to anyone here? Anybody ever trade like something like that? Wouldn't it be nice to find a stock that went up literally almost over over a hundred percent in uh, I don't know five hours, four hours? Hell, you know what? If it only went to six and you're done at eleven, I'll take that too. Do the math. If you bought a thousand shares of this stock, one thousand shares at four dollars when we traded here at cyber Train university you bought at four dollars and you sold it now at nine how much money did you make everybody if you bought it at four you sold it at nine how much money did you make that's right five thousand dollars congratulations now if you do that every day for the, for the rest of the year, I think you're gonna make close to about $10 million, right? Like, wow, holy crap, didn't think of that. But what about just making 50 cents, right? What about just selling it, buying a four and selling it for 50? If you can make 50 cents, forget about the $5, 50 lousy little stinking cents. You make 500 a day, it's $100,000 a year salary. Who here would be happy to make $100,000 working 30 minutes a day? Anybody interested? I know it's a stupid question. I mean, like, of course I would, Fausto. I mean, why would I not? But uh, everyone's saying yes. I know that. Well, now this is the question I have to teach you. How do we find the, CI, the CODX? How do we find stocks like MRNN that went from 21 all the way to 26? Look, you got Benito made a buck uh, 70. Donna made a buck 15. Gene made 47 cents. How did you find these stocks? That's what I'm going to talk about. So how do we find them? First, most important place that we work is we have a scanner and we work off our big percentage gainers and losers. Basically, that's it. I don't know what MRNA is. I don't care. I don't know what CODX is. I don't know where the company's from. I don't know who their CEO is. I don't know their book value. I really don't care. I'll be honest with you. All I know is there's buyers bidding it up. There's nonstop. And that's the only thing that's moving in the market. How do we find them? In the big percentage gainers and losers. That's where we start. Now, here at Cybertrain University, what I'm going to introduce to everybody here is I'm going to invite you into my trading room, my live trading room tomorrow morning. Any of you guys involved in a trading room? 
Wayne says, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Sorry about that, Wayne. I missed that. Anybody in, in a trading room right now? In a live trading room? Kevin, you are? Okay. But you are saying, okay, a few of you, a lot of you aren't. Okay. Well, I'm going to invite you to the original trading room and you'll see how we do the live broadcast, how we find these stocks, who's trading them. And, and the big thing is, you're not going to judge me on our winners. You're going to judge my traders on the losers. Okay. The thing is this, don't worry about the winners. Winners take care of themselves. It's the losers you guys got to learn from. So I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about that. Now, why did MRNA move up so high? Well, basically, obviously the coronavirus, the news, okay? Uh, they're the first one to surge with the drug maker delivery first coronavirus vaccine. Now, is it working? We don't know. But the bottom line is there's a, there's a bunch of them out there. They're all racing for it, not because they're trying to save the world, because they're pretty damn profitable business. That's where it comes down to it. Now, where do most traders fail? Okay, well, it's when you, by finding the stock, now the next question you get is, when do I sell? When, what's driving it up? Who made it go up? Well, the thing is this, you have to have the right uh, trading platform. That's where it all starts. Basically, you gotta have the right data. That's, that's what you need. Now, the data, there's two or three ways of getting it. You can get a quote on level one. You could read level two, which really has been outdated since the 90s. Or you could focus on something called NASDAQ total view, which is basically you're seeing all the orders out there. Now, remember, when you look at this, it seems a little confusing. People look at it and they're like, oh, there's a lot of buyers and sellers. You know, how do you know what to follow? How do you know what's going on? Well, that's what I'm going to really cover and teach you right now. Now, what you're about to learn, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm just going to be very honest with you. It's going to be quite disturbing. Why it's disturbing? Because you're going to realize that you've been trading blind your whole time. So if you have anybody that's not supposed to be listening, um, I'd probably get them out of the room right now. Because listen, what, I'm, what I mean by that is, I cannot believe that anyone in their right mind would trade something without knowing what the big brokerage firms are doing. How could you even consider, think that you're better than them? Let me tell you something. Once you think you're smarter than those brokerage firms, you're going to lose, period. You know what? It's not that, you know, that you're you know, uh, incompetent or you're not qualified. It's just that they got more money than you. So why try to outsmart them? Why don't you just join them? The only people who woke up this morning and saw the market up and it says, oh, this is, this is the bounce. This is the, oh, we're up 200, yeah? Oh, we're 400, they went all in. Oh, now I finally get my opportunity to buy Apple. Yeah, great, how's that working out for you now? Okay, these are things that you, know, you need to understand about how the market works. How do we follow that? We just follow the money. That's the only word you need to understand right now. Follow the money. So let's look at that NASDAQ book viewer. Let me get my little pointer right here so you guys can follow along. Wouldn't that help? Probably, right? There we go. Okay. So looking at Rite Aid, okay? And you can see it in the green. These are buyers and these are sellers. Now, what we're looking at right here is three columns. The price, the amount of shares, and the amount of orders that make up that share. Now, whoever wants to buy for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell for the least amount of money is here at the bottom. Now, what we're looking at is orders and shares, mainly shares. Shares are what make support and resistance, support and resistance levels, period. That's it. How do things go up and go down in life? Supply and demand. You want to sell your house? You live in a bad neighborhood? The demand's not there. You live in a fluent area, hot area? All the bells and whistles, the demand is higher there. Houses are more. Same thing like a stock, okay? If people don't want it, they'll be selling. If they do want to buy it, you'll see them on the bid bidding for it. Basic, uh, basic math. Now, you'll notice that there are buyers at every single penny where the stock trades. What we're looking for is the big orders. So let's, so let's look at an example over here. We're looking at Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, now you notice how Bed Bath & Beyond started this morning. It went from 1180 and it went all the way down and about by 1030, it stopped here at right around $11 a share. It didn't go to 10, it didn't go to 1050, 
It didn't stop at 11.50. It stopped at 11, okay? And then what ended up happening, it kept hovering there to 11, 12, 1, 2. And then finally at the 3 o'clock, stock started going back up. And when not only did it go back up, it went all the way up to $12. The stock ran a dollar, a, lot, a, a huge dollar. Why did that happen? Because there was a buyer right here. For, there was a buyer for 65,000 shares at 1108, which is basically, I said 11, right? Here's 1110. Actually, that's 1108 right there. Wow, and, and coincidental. Look at that. It hit 1108. It went up. It hit 1108. Never want to break it. It didn't want to break it because 1108 is the, is the uh, you know, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. That's what, that's, that, that was the number that came out of my fortune cookie. You know what I mean? Or that's the number I woke up on a dream. No, it, the number, oh, Mr. Fibonacci said so. It's because of these orders, 6,000, 65,000, 14,000. You know, listen, the, the 700 share buyer is not making support levels and not even the 6,000, but the 65,000, when you have 20, when you have, uh, what is that? That is uh, uh, 200 orders out there. Wow, I mean, that's a lot of orders. Holy crap. That's who you want to watch. All right, let's look at the reverse side. We're looking at, uh, what is this, at and All right, so at and at, at, uh, started at $37. It went all the way up to about $37.70, right? And it stopped. Why did it stop at $37.70? Why didn't it go to $38 or $50 or $37.20? Why $37.70? Oh, what a coincidence. You got almost 10,000 shares out there, and you got 83,000 shares looking to be sold. Whose side would you want to be on? The guy that's looking to sell 8,000 or the guy that's looking to sell 80,000? Now, you think about it. How many shares do you trade? 100, 500, 1,000? I could put money on it. You're not putting 83,000 share orders out there. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Just follow that guy. And then that will make perfect sense why that stock hit that ceiling like a brick wall and came right back down. Now, let's have a little beta test. Let's see if you guys, how quickly you learned, all right? Now, uh, let's look at this stock right here. What is, I'm gonna do a poll. Let me stop this right here. Uh, okay. Is this stock going up or going down? What do you think? Go to the poll, everybody, and fill it out. Let me give you guys a minute. Well, maybe not a minute, maybe a couple of maybe maybe a couple of seconds. It's a pretty simple question. Now, if you did this test before, obviously you probably know the answer, which is down. So if it is down, just put down. Okay. But for some miracle reason, there's one guy out there and he said it's going up. If you said it was going up, first of all, I don't even know how you figure the stock's going up. I would just quit right now. This stock is not going up. OK, let me share the poll with you. This stock is going down. Everything that you see is pushing this stock down. So I don't know what, where you came up with going up other than you guessed. OK, so anyway, but that's OK. We're going to fix that problem. Now, what do we need for the stock to go up? What is this stock going to, to go to zero, everybody? What, what, what do we what do we need? What is this stock? What do we need the stock to do? What is going to make the stock go back up? Well, volume is a yes, Mark, you know, but we need buyers. We need buyers. Wow, what a coincidence. Wow, you guys are pretty smart. You need buyers. Very good. Do you see buyers on a chart? You see buyers on a chart? No. So how are you going to find buyers? If, if everybody's trading here, where do you find these buyers? When is it going to stop? Let me see how you guys answer that. Kevin says you need to book view, level three, matrix, okay. So you think about this for a second. Now all of a sudden, everybody's starting to realize, you're right, Fausto, you need buyers, okay? Of course you need buyers. Now listen, don't believe me, okay? I've been doing this for over 
25 years. I've been trained by some of the best traders in the world. I live here in New York. This is the financial capital of the world. I made a commitment to say, you know what? I'm not working for someone for second best. I want to know who's the best in the industry. I wanted to go work for one of the best trading firms. And let me tell you something. They didn't make it easy for me to come in the door. Okay. They didn't make it easy. You want to work for the best, you better act to be the best. Okay. You want to, you want to just learn how to trade and get by? No problem. There's a lot of dime, there's a lot of people out there that'll just take your money and say, you know, here. And they sound pretty good. They look good, maybe good performers. I'm not a great one, but I could tell you this. I rather, I rather I rather learn from somebody. I'd rather have somebody that does not have good bedside matters, but other than get the job done. Okay. If I was in surgery. And you had a choice. Would you want someone that's got great bedside matters or a guy who's going to get the job done? Well, that's what trading is all about. So what happens if traders wanted to buy 56,000 shares of the stock right here? See that right there? 56,000. What do you think? What's going to happen? Um, Butch says, um, do you care if the institutions are buying? Butch, of course I care who's buying. If I could see what they're buying, wouldn't that help me dis to distinguish the difference of it going up or going down? You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's, isn't that the whole goal? The goal is, and we're looking at Uber here. All you have to do is follow the money. That's all you have to do. I'm not going to question that guy. You want to go right ahead. Let me know how that works out for you. Now, let's look at the chart. Look what happened to Uber. It went from 40 all the way down to 37. Once at 37, what did the stock do, everybody? What did it end up doing? When it hit 37. Yes, it went up. Come on. Don't be shy. You want to be a good trader? You got it. You got to throw in. You, got to, you have to let me know how you're thinking. Because if you think that this stock it, it went up for, for some other reason, you're in the wrong business. Now, by the way, does that seem – I'm just a little confused. I just want to ask everybody this question. Does that seem um, confusing? Anybody lost so far? Everybody following along? It's not hard, right, Andy? Rev? Butch? Not hard. So why does everybody make trading so complicated? Uh, you know, and why are people losing money? In trading, I, I don't get it. Why are people actually go? Why not just? Why not just follow the money? Listen, Nasdaq um, had me come and do a presentation there, and I've been in this business for twenty five years. They rarely have ever had another school come on their station. Now, this is not like some broker trip. This is Nasdaq. This is the exchange. Okay, they're the ones that police the other brokerage firms. They're the ones that bring companies public and decide if they want them or not, okay? They have me come on there because they know what I teach is what you need to learn because this is what they want you to hear. This is what they want you to learn. This is their platform. You know, they, they finally found somebody that says, holy crap, we finally had a school out there that's teaching what we want people to look at, not someone that's throwing someone's, you know, uh, a new RSI out there and say, hey, my RSI better than your MACD. You know what I mean? This is, this is NASDAQ software. This is what brokerage firms want you to see. And you know what? It's not really that hard. Really not. So, but remember, remember that COD stock, the CODX? Look, look, since we've been here, look what the stock did. It went from, and I'll just zoom in over here a little bit. Since we started at 12 o'clock, it went from 8.30 to where it is, $9. If you bought this stock when we started and you sold it now, how much money would you have made on 1,000 shares? How much money you would have made? That's right, $1,000. And now, why did it bounce? Why did it go up? Just got to follow the money. Now, oh, it's a Corona stock. There's a lot of Corona stocks out there. You know how many people I know that are trading Corona stocks right now and, get, and losing their shirt? 
it's you know, but the thing is, you just gotta follow the money, guys. That's where it comes down to. All right, let's look at another one. Uh, looking at FEYE, okay. So where, without looking at a chart, a time is any all that fancy stuff, you know, those bells and whistles. Where do you think resistance levels is in FERR, uh, FEYE? Yeah, I know, Mark. Um, NVAX has also been great. There's a lot of them out there, but the goal is, you know, you only could trade one. <laughs> Where is the resistance levels on FEYE? Oops, sorry about that. Well, resistance is sellers. Sellers, this is buyers, this is sellers, okay. This is the price, this is the amount of shares, these are the orders, so we wanna look for a lot of shares. 700, 1,000, ooh, more than 700, 200, 100, 4,000, not too shabby. But we're, we're down almost like, almost like 20 cents already, right? 30 cents, 20 cents? Let's keep going. Wow, holy crap, 96,000 shares at 1650. That's literally about 40 cents away. So should I buy it now or should I wait until 1650? Okay, so let's look at the chart. What does this chart tell you? What is this, what, what is this, what is this stock doing, going up or going down? It's going up, right? But when we looked at this, at 1650, and then we go back to this, we're trading at 1650. We think it's going to happen at 1650. Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? 1650, 93,000 shares, 96,000. It's probably going to go, it's, well, well, it's not going sideways, Butch. It's not going sideways, okay? All right, sideways eventually, what's gonna happen in sideways is that eventually it's gonna pick a direction. It's not gonna be sideways forever. But in theory, it's gonna go down. And it did go down. And not only did it go down, it went down 50 cents, okay? So the thing is this, you're looking at a chart and you're like, ooh, it's going up. And then you look at this and you're like, damn, stock went down. You know what I mean? So like, do I trade high price stocks? Absolutely not. Why? Why would I trade a high price? Why would I trade a high price stock? Look at the CODX. It's at four dollars. It went to nine. Oh, you didn't see? You didn't see Facebook? Oh, uh, you don't trade Apple? No. Why would I go risk three on a three hundred dollar stock when I can make more percentage wise, risk less, and trade CODX? I mean, think about this. Are you here to make money or are you here to trade because, oh, it's Apple? Oh, it's Facebook. Oh, but I never heard of CODX. I'm not in the name business. I'm in the making money business. It's all about risk to reward. And let me just give you a little an analogy what my trader taught me, my mentor. He says, you know when you deal with more expensive stocks, you're, not only you have to need more money to do it, but you also deal with the best traders on Wall Street. So what do you, th what do you think is going to happen? You want to go up against the best traders or you, or you want to, because it's, 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 it's Tesla or would you rather just trade something and make your day's pay? That's really what comes down to it. So here at Cyber Trade University, just to let you know, we call these orders iceberg orders. Those big block orders, um, I came up with that word about 20 years ago. So what we're focusing on is looking for, you know, they, they, they call it big block orders, but we call them, when we see the big, big, big orders, like the 100,000, 50,000, those are called iceberg orders. And we all know what happens if you hit an iceberg. Didn't work too well for the Titanic, right? Now, the next question people always ask is this. I heard he's a fake order, Fausto. Okay. Really? Okay. You think it's fake? When you come in my trading room, I'm going to find an order like this, $130,000, and we're going to use your money. And you execute that guy, and you tell me how fake that is, okay? So 
I always get it. I always laugh. If when people tell me that right away, by the way, I'm just going to tell you right now, if someone ever says that to you, I'm warning you right now, run as fast as you can. They have absolutely no clue about trading. You know, I was on the, I was on a, uh, on a, on a, on a panel uh, not too long ago and I had this analyst try to question me and try to like, analysts don't like traders, by the way, it's going to give you a heads up on that. Um, and he said, there questioning me. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's not real. And I look at the guy. I'm like, not real. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Not real? Oh, that's that. The order is a, 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 a spoof. I'm like, is this spoofing illegal? They're like, why don't you call them up right now and call the SEC, get them on the phone. That's spoofing. The guy's going to get fined $20 million. Go ahead, do it. Oh, you know what? That guy can cancel. Of course he can cancel the order. It's real. Nothing fake about it. Now, how do we know if they're, you know, if they cancel it or get executed? Time in sales. Time in sales. And then here you have a situation where the stock actually, that seller was at 24 and it went up. Not only did it go up, it went up about $2 in a matter of what? Uh, 15 minutes? <laughs> Holy crap. Look at all the green orders and time in sales. 12,000, 1,300, 2,300, 19,000, 10,000. Green, 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 green. What does time in sales do? These are the confirmations of the transaction that take place. Now, how many, how many people will go out there and neglect using time and sales? It blows my mind. How, how do you not follow time and sales? You know what I mean? By the way, a chart gets his data from the time and sales. Um, how many percentage times the, uh, does this trading system work? Okay, so Ash, great question. Would you like to see this live for a week and see how, how it really works in a trading system? That's the only way you're going to see it, right? I mean, do you want to make money? Yes or no? I mean, that's a dumb question. But of course, we want to see people make money. But wouldn't it be nice to go out there and see it live, you know, in the trading market and see it actually happen? Well, I'm going to invite all of you guys to do that. Every single one of you. You're going to see this live for a whole week in my trading room, and I'll prove it to you how it works. And let me tell you something. You know what's going to, really, you know what's going to be really be disturbing? You're going to realize, number one, whoever trained you wasted your time and money. And number two, you've been trading blind this whole time. And you know what? As long as you love trading, we'll be fine. We'll do okay. Okay? That, that's the goal. As long as you're able to add, we'll make a lot of money together. The hardest thing to teach is to let you all know, it's not about the platform, like, you know, following this. You know what the hardest thing to teach is getting people to hit the button. My biggest failure rate of traders is people get greedy and they get cocky. It's the only reason why. You know, there's this thing called a diet. And um, actually, a lot of diets do work. You know, they're almost pretty much guaranteed. So why do people keep never making, why do people fail diets? You know, I was like, well, I'll tell you why I keep failing. Because they keep breaking the rules. They, you know, they, they keep going to Vegas on the weekend and, 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 you know, if you go to Vegas every day, you'll never succeed. They keep going to McDonald's and listen, if you go to McDonald's, I can't help you. You keep, you know, hitting that bottle, you know, you're getting beer, you're going to, you know, you follow the diet strictly, you do it. And that's what trading's about, you know, but there are people out there, they look at this and like, oh, you know what? Maybe I can make more money. Holy crap. I made 50 cents like that. Why don't I try to make a dollar? Let me make two dollars. Let me make five dollars. And that's how people blow up their accounts. It's all about making a day's pay. It's what it's all it comes down to. As long as you follow the money, ladies and gentlemen, you follow the orders, you have a good team behind you, is what Cyber Training University is all about. You're going to have a very successful career for not for the day, not for the week, but for the rest of your life. Because the goal is it's time to stop getting confused because that's what people are doing. And trading is really like a, a, a video game. But when you start adding all these bells and whistles and mumbo jumbo, that's how you blow up your account. That's how that works. We have a whole method here at Cyber Training University. It's called the KISS method. Just keep it super simple. So if you want to learn how to make, I don't know, $500 a day, 50 cents, it's really not that hard. Okay. 
um, and you'll see people doing it. But it all starts by learning from mentors. All right, and you might need to learn more from one. And if you learn how to trade, you'll spend more time with your family. You do the things you always want to do in life, but you got to know how to play the game. And I'm going to tell you how we're going to sign you all up. If you want to see this live, come in my trading room. I'll prove it to you. Also, um, just want to kind of throw this out there. If you guys want to learn from anybody, uh, just make sure they're being endorsed by brokerage firms. Cybertree University has been endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. And we're very proud of that. And let me tell you something. Companies like Charles Schwab, Tasty Trade, Thinkorswim, TradeStation, they would never, NASDAQ, they would never put us in front of an audience of their, of their clients if they thought we would teach people how to lose money. So if you want to come to the original trading room that I started 25 years ago, still kicking strong. If you want to see how other schools, how they started, and you might kind of notice, it seems like very similar to what we do. Yeah, you know what? A lot of them are our students and our instructors. We see when we're done with you, we're gonna be able, you're gonna be able to teach other people. And our goal is so you could start your own trading room and start your own following. Um, that's really the ultimate goal. Okay, we're not here to hold anybody hostage. But if you want to see if this actually really does work and meet the people every day that do it, well, here's your opportunity. You're gonna get live auto, auto commentary, everything. Now we start trading right at, at, at um, we do at 9 a.m. live broadcast, but we start at 8 a.m. in the morning. Basically, that's where we start, okay? So room opens up at eight, and we only trade about an hour in the morning and an hour in the afternoon, pretty much done. Now, the promotion is this. Um, one of our, uh, Rich just posted a link up there, $9. This is all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for 9,000. I'm not asking for 900. I'm not always asking for $90. I'm asking for nine lousy little stinking dollars. It's peanuts. Why $9? Listen, I need to know if you're a real person or not. There's a lot of you logged in on Facebook right now. There's a lot of you logged in in YouTube. There's a lot of you that we don't know who you are. We need to know who you are before you come in our room. Um, it's, 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 it's a security precaution. So we asked for $9. And this is what you're going to get. You're going to get our trading group, a live trading room, three daily market meetings, a morning and afternoon watch list, your own personal education advisor. Yes, you can actually talk to somebody. A live Q&A training session, all for $9. And as a bonus, I am going to interview you. We're going to have a free consultation. After a couple of days, once you're in the room, we're going to get on the phone. You're going to book an appointment with one of my education advisors, and we're going, to, we're going to make a decision if trading is for you or not. Now, listen, guys, can I be honest with you? Trading's not for everybody, okay? I know you wanted to make it work. Unfortunately, some of us don't have the time to do it. They're not prepared for it. And some of you might think that, but you might, you might can do it. So there's only a way to find out. $9.00. 100% money back guaranteed. Listen, I don't need your nine bucks, okay? I need, I need people that want to make 900 a day. If I could teach you how to make 900 a day, I'm going to make 900 a day with you. But it all starts from there. Now, a um, couple of questions coming across here. And uh, by the way, there's a bunch of you registering right now. So as you guys are registering, uh, you'll notice, guys, there's a questionnaire that comes along with it. Very important you fill out that questionnaire. The more you tell us about you, the more it helps us to kind of uh, advise you what would be best for you. Uh, just a couple of questions. If you ever took training before, um, you know, what brokerage firm account you have, like little dumb questions like that. Because a lot of people, like some of you really have the wrong brokerage account, to be honest with you. And some of you, you know, you know, probably took training with someone really good, but really it wasn't your style. And that's what we do. Uh, D has a question. How do you step away? Will there be uh, to see a replay on this? Yes, D, this is being recorded. Yes. Anybody else? Uh, what happened? When can I start on Monday? Yes, you can. So listen, when you register, you'll have access to a education advisor. You tell them when you want to start. This is just a promotion that we're doing right now. We've been running it for a while. It's been working great. So we've been sticking with it. And uh, really kind of just you know, kind of doesn't make you feel pressured that you spend a lot of money, you know, um, you guys know, and I, what the hell's nine bucks, right? So you go in there, at least you see the professionalism, the customer service, all that good stuff. And, um, 
you know, and tell them when you want to start and then we'll, I'll give you access. But listen, there are a couple of videos that you're going to get access to it. There's a, there's a crash course on day trading and you're going to get with it. So you want to watch that. There's a, a special lingo that traders talk within themselves and you want to be able to do that. All right. Uh, but, oh, there you are. Butch, the guy's been there chatting away. There you go. Got you over from Texas. You know, I love Texas. I've been going to Texas. Um, I used to go like, like twice a month. I used to do a radio show down in Texas. Great people, very similar to like New Yorkers. I always find that when you guys are serious, you want to do it, you just hit the buttons. Set. Definitely. Uh, do you have a question on your training? Is there a day trading deal? Uh, and do I have to have 25,000 a day trade? D, listen, that's an excellent question. C can I be honest with you? Forget about the $25,000 day trading rule. That's the least of your problems right now. Forget about having a brokerage account. That's a, you know what you need? Nine stinking dollars. That's it. We'll worry about that later. All right. I, I, don't worry about the, oh, I heard about this rule. How about, forget about that right now. Do I got to have the, bro forget it. Forget it. Don't worry about it. You know what you need? You need nine dollars. Okay. And nine dollars will show you if you're a swing trader, a day trader, an options trader, just see if people are making money in the room. Listen, the goal is this. When you come into the trading room, I tell people, don't look at me. Don't, you, don't look at my winners. That, first of all, I feel that's so egotistical. Like, d does that make you money that I have to brag that I made $3,000 today? Does that really have to, is that really going to change your life? No, you want to see if I could teach you how to make it on your own. And the only way you're going to know that is you need to see the traders in the room. By the way, I tell everybody this all the time. There's a lot of people out there. Some of them are great marketers. They got a great following on YouTube and stuff like that. They love talking about themselves, how much money they made, you know, and I, I'm not here to knock anybody, but you know how you know if someone really is a good teacher? Look at their students in the room. See how they think for themselves. That's what you need. You need to, I can't be there. Listen, I just came back from vacation. What is I got to put you out of business for a week? It's not the way it works. By the way, Hopefully everybody jumped into that COD, uh, the CODX. Look where it is. Since two o'clock since we started, it's at 850. Look where it is now, 950 and going higher. You bought a thousand shares of that stock. Guess what? You made a thousand bucks, thousand dollars. Where are you gonna learn how to do that? Why did it go up? How do we know it went higher? Starts paying, dishing out the nine bucks. Uh, Kevin, listen, whatever you missed, it's being recorded. And I know we're trying to squeeze as much as we can within an hour, but look at the bright side. You're going to get a week of it. All right. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome, D. Uh, oh, you traded twice today. Is that, was that awesome, Kevin? That is great. Uh, let me just, a couple, of other, a couple other people just registering. Tara just got your registration from, was that uh, Mississippi? There we go. All right. Lance from uh, Canada. Listen, I, I have a very nice following in Canada. I've been going to Canada for years. And uh, Canada has been, you know, the, fortunately for Canada, unfortunately for Canada, you don't have the liquidity we do. But you know what? You guys understand the language. You're here to make money. I would say 20% of my traders in the room are, are Canadian. So you're going to make some good friends from Canada. But thanks for registering. Uh, yeah, Butch, just got you registered, Butch, you you're dealing with thinkorswim? See, that's a good, I'm glad that you, you see, this is the reason why we need to know that. Um, you have an account with Think or, Think or Swim, right, Butch? So the, the problem with Thinkorswim is it's a great platform. We're endorsed by them. I've done so many events with them. They're great for um, options. You could use it for stocks, but you're going to need to do some tweaking, and we'll cover that in the trading room, okay? But that also is a big, big concern. Uh, E-Trade. You know, so we got E-Trade from Tara. I mean, E-Trade, problem with E-Trade is like, they're such a big company. You're like a nobody to them. You know what I mean? You want somebody that's going to want your business, respect your business, not to say, oh, you know what? Just, you're just another client. So there are good brokerage firms out there. And you know what? We don't work for them, but we, we would recommend a few of you that might work out best. We'll get you some demos. That's realistically what's, what you have to do. Okay. Uh, Michael, we just got your registration, Ritter from uh, Lexington, Kentucky. All right. Been to the Derby twice, by the way. One of the, one of the greatest, greatest uh, events in the world, I would have to say. 
All right, anybody else have any questions? Uh, where do we need total view? Listen, I don't want you to go out there and buy total view. I, it, it's cheap. It's only $15, right? Why don't you pay the $9 first? Let me show you how it works in the platform, in the trading room, and then you can worry about buying it, all right? I hate when people say, well, do I have to buy this? So I, you don't need, just you, whatever you have, you're actually better off having nothing than having something, okay? I'd rather you just not have anything. You know what? I don't want anybody to have bad habits. I don't want to have anybody, you know, looking at something that they're stuck in. Don't worry about it. That's the least of your problems. Um, Tom, you know what? You're more than welcome to. If, if you did it for the week, jump in the room again. We'll extend it. More than happy to. Just let us know. You got my email address right there. Or just call the office and say you know, and ask them uh, if you missed a bunch of days, you didn't get you know, get your time and expired. That's not a problem. Totally fine. Uh, Brian from Colorado just got your registration. Brian uh, Strasser. All right. No problem, Andy. Like I said, listen. Time gets in the way, life gets in the way, you know? And I know we had some people last week because I was away to like Faust, I registered next week and I, you weren't there all week and I really wanted to hear you, but that's fine. Listen, be happy to. Listen, I would rather you know if this is for you or not than get yourself in trouble, really, you know? And like I told you, it's $9. It's not $900, it's not $9,000, okay? It's nine bucks and if you don't like it, I'll give you money back, and if you, and if you, it, but the most important thing is just make sure when you activate it, you activate in a time when you're going to be there. And I preferably would probably do it on Monday, you know. Yeah, well, tomorrow you can do it tomorrow. I mean, hell, it's with the, what's going on in the market right now, hell, you can start tomorrow. Don't even wait. Listen, you only need one day in the room. <laughs> That's it, one hour. You look and you see these people and they're like they got like printing money, you know. Uh, that's really what it comes down to it. You'll know right away just when you, when you step into the room. But it is important because a lot of the money we make is in pre-market. So I really recommend you guys to be there in pre-market. All right? Uh, any last minute questions, guys? Uh, what do we got here? Brian, you dealing with Schwab? You, and, you, and you did purchase some education. Okay. So this is what helps us too. But you, do, you don't have level three. So... You know, regarding about that, regarding about uh, about your education, listen, I preferably like people that take courses with other people, and I'm glad that you actually are still looking, and that is okay. Um, actually, a lot of people don't realize that, that sometimes you got to listen to a couple of people, and you got to buy a little bit. Don't spend a lot of money. Buy a little bit of, you know, just to get into that, you know, get into that VIP access room, and just to get the feel what's going in. Uh, so you see, so, and then you make a decision like, you know what, now this is the team, this is where I want to spend my career. This is my investment, but you got to buy a little bit. So I'm glad that you did. And you know, one thing about Schwab, great platform. I did a lot of prevents, but see, I'm not a fan of big brokerage firms because they really, just another number out there. All right. That's where that comes in. But uh, that's why it's so important. You guys felt that question here. Walter just got your registration from Cincinnati, Ohio. All right. There's a bunch more coming in. All right. Any other questions? Uh, what broker do you use, Fausto? So, Butch, I mean, you'll see we have several brokerage firms. I use a little bit of everything. It, I don't mix and match my brokerage accounts regarding for swing trading and day trading, but, you know, TradeStation is great. Uh, I, you know, I have a thinker, I have a, thinker, uh, a TD Ameritrade account. Try to keep uh, Tasty Works. You know, from you know, from Tom Sosnoff, Thinkorswim account. I have those. I have plenty of accounts, I, but I keep everything separate. You don't want to mix and match. You know, that's where people blow up their accounts. But we'll cover that when you're in the, in the trading room. You'll see the ones we showcase. Listen, your goal is to see if we actually make money, right? And because you know what? It's a lot of time and effort to get in there, and you want to make sure you're dealing with the right person. All right, guys, listen, I got to go. I got to get ready. The market's going to be. I got it ready for the market closes. Uh, so I got about an hour. Uh, right now we're doing our two thirty afternoon meeting in our trading room. And with that said, we're gonna go, we're gonna going to uh, uh, get ready for the close, which we pretty much trade only the last half hour. So uh, 
just a couple of quick little shout outs too. Uh, Lewis just got your registration from Austin, Texas. Another Texas guy. There you go. Thank you very much, Lewis. And Lucy from, you know, right the block here in New York. All right. Upstate New York. Beautiful. Look forward to seeing you. So enjoy everybody. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, I know it's a long day. Three hours is a lot to chew on, but you know, the course is recorded. We'll give you the archives to it. But, um, but go out there and make sure you make a little investment. We had a lot of great presenters today. They all had some good stuff. Buy a little bit of everything. And uh, once again, the worst thing could happen to you, like I said, you, you learned something. All right? The best thing could happen to you is make a lot of money doing it. So happy trading, everybody. Look forward to seeing you all in the trading room. All right? Good luck, everyone. Thank you.